and turn has advanced. Indeed. Let's watch. Watching. Okay. All right. Uh, one only one in Zama, so Phoebo explored somewhere else. Oh. oh. Uh, Northern Gaul not taken, but he does overwhelm me in an event to come. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, that that sucks pretty bad. <laughs> okay. Then okay. it hits Thapsus. Well. Oh. He's in Arabia. That sucks. Um. Oh wow. He hit with one. As if long he as he that doesn't two. hit. Yeah, if he does that, that's that's really bad. Oh he did my that. God, he did. He did. That is so annoying. Yeah. Ugh. If I had delayed that move, ugh, I would have taken him instead of the other way around. God dang it. God dang it. Oh. If I had delayed that, I would have been um, fine. All I needed to wow. do was make my Ponticia moves earlier. Why did I not do that? Ugh. That uh, luck sucks. Or even if he had hit with the one, then you had attacked, then he hit the other one. Even if your move was in between those, it would have worked out fine. Yeah. Oh, man. I just... I can't believe that. In fact, that would have been probably the best for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. actually, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have made a difference, actually. Well, you would have had one less casualty. No, I would have lost one either no. way. Because his one would have hit Pelusium, then you would have hit Pelusium and only lost one anyway. No, no, no. I was thinking about I, uh, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about the difference of attacking a three. I mean, a one with a three or a two with a three. It's the same either way. You lose one guy and you take it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But if about. you had hit first and then he had hit you, then you would have lost one from his one attack and then another from his two attack. Yeah, I know. I'm. I. I, I actually know. would have invested B last because of that. But yeah. But I'm I'm saying, perfect. yeah. But I, I'm saying it wouldn't have made a difference regarding his one killing the one guy in Pelusium. That's what I was saying. But regardless. Okay. Well, we got a nice stack in Aventicum. At least he doesn't have Northern Gaul. Uh, it means he took something else. Hmm. You need to take Southern Italy. Can I do it safely though? I mean, I don't. I would prefer staying alive, but Lugdrum's going to be a Difficult endeavor. Hmm. I think you should focus on taking southern Italy. I definitely I honestly. I can't fight him if I don't have income. And then pressure. He's, where's he got his income? He hmm. he attacked that with how much? He must be in like Pannonia or Baetica, both. He Dalmatia. attacked with twelve. So if he had his three guys that got attacked there, he deployed nine more. Could be in Hamamatis. We won't know that until I check on it. Yeah. He's, he may have gone. Could he have gone to Dalmatia? He could have gone both Dalmatia and Pannonia turn one, I think. Could he have? Um, changing. No, I don't That's think six, he could. Yeah, he, he could have. He had six income. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Forgot about the six. So he could have gone both Pannonia and Dalmatia turn one. Hmm. That would so be interesting. And then he's got at least four more income, so I think that's the only one. I mean, he could have gone Thracia, Pannonia. That really, would... any two bonuses. He could have, he could have Betica and something. That would totally make sense. If he yeah, if he had that and he placed nine guy no no ten guys. Wait, he would have had to place nine. Yeah, he would have placed nine into a quarter room. And then one elsewhere. I don't know what he'd do with that other guy. Maybe well, take... No, he he only, well, he would have had nine income. What do you mean? You he forgot about the one from Dura Quarter. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. So he could have just gotten a three bonus as well, but there aren't any other three bonuses. Yeah. Maybe he had Betica and Casanova. Betica and Cusanova. Um, that is also a possibility. Or Cusanova Although by this time, well, he should have also been able to get Lusitania. If he had that, so. So he'd have one more income, so he would be at 10. And still. I mean, I don't know why he would only deploy one similar time. I guess he could have gotten, like, Salmantica in that case with just one more income. One guy being deployed down there. 
Um, mm. But he definitely knew about me being in a lo- Southern Gaul. That much is obvious. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I obviously need to take Pontitia, and you need to take Southern Italy so that we can be competitive in this game. Yeah. And I'm going to hope that Phoebo blockades Pelusium. That is very likely. He doesn't want to fight both of us. If he does that, basically he should sit at just blockade. Then I can Mm -hmm. come up to Arabia from the back through Judea. Yeah, as long as you get to Judea first. Because if he does, then he's going to have two options, and it's going to be hard for you to defend. Mm -hmm. But you would still have probably more income than him, almost certainly. He's anyway, got Arabia and Africa is two as a start, but where's his third? You just need to make sure he doesn't Find take you in Carthage, though. Yeah. Um, hmm. If I'm taking Southern Italy, the only I can only put five guys there. So I'll ha- well, I will have five. Uh, he shouldn't have. He can't have any more than like uh, Arabia. He'll, he'll need eight, so he would have to deploy six there, which means that he's basically leaving Pelusium completely undefended. Which is extremely unlikely, because Pelusium mm-hmm. is much more valuable than Carthage. Yeah, I find it highly unlikely that he'll not defend Pelusium. Mm-hmm. Utica is not near as important. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to take Pontitia. You're going to take Southern Italy. What do yeah. we want to do in the Lugdunum Aventicum? Avericum area. It's pretty much guaranteed that I'm going to be eliminated up there. Uh, you will obviously still have a spot. Since he's not taking Northern Gaul, it's not immediately crucial that we do anything besides prevent Southern Gaul from being taken. That's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you don't have to do anything over there. I was um, thinking about going to Avericum just to make him place guys into a quarter room though because he'll have a stack out of place and lug done how many can you attack that with uh just with five because i'll be taking pontitia but next turn i'll have 11 income to yeah. work with he might actually be going for northern gold now that he's in this position because and i don't know he what could else try he with all of his income he could try but well he should want to use your in who uses income to destroy you over there yeah but i, I don't think he needs it that would like 16 I don't know if he might I, I mean I would at least take like Leodia or something so you can border everything what what what'd you say your voice cut out and I can't hear you now so we can touch all of it uh, uh your voice was cutting in and out can you hear me yes I can hear you Okay, all right, your voice sounds a little weird, but... All um, right. Okay, well, Skype sucks. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I was just saying that he could probably take Leodium or a single territory so he can border all of Northern Gaul. That's what he should at least do, I think, at least. Yeah, that's probably what he'll try and do, but either way, uh, mm-hmm. I like going to Avericum personally, just to... He'll be out of position. He should go to Lugdunum. And then Dura Cordorum will be beautifully placed. You know, yep. I, I, have, I mean, going to Avericum will be beautifully placed against Dura Cordorum. Hmm. My stack will, well, won't be much of a stack, but it'll be between Dura Cordorum and his stack in Lugdunum. I like that. Yeah. Okay. And it will be right when you finish Pontesia, too. We mm-hmm. have two blockade cards and half of each of a blockade and gift. Now, do you think moving to uh, Avericum last move is the right idea? Uh, I just made it fourth move. If you hit it with five, you can break three, but for him to break four, he would need six. It might be better to hit first. Yeah, something I wasn't sure about. All right. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to commit. I have committed. And turn has advanced. All right, let's watch it. Watching nine to Pelusium. He oh, put yes. everything there. Oh, yes. He's nine income. That's good to know. Five in Aventicum. 
He retreated back to, from Utica. As expected. <laughs> <laughs> he went to leg denim. <laughs> He's probably gonna hit me in a bit. Oh, he did hit. Yeah. I didn't think he would mm. hit me with all of it, though. That's actually surprising. And he is in Byzantium. So we're out, now we know his third location. <laughs> huh. Um. I would recommend blockading Cyrene. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Mm. And... Yep, so he's got Thracia and Arabia. Alright. Yes. He has nine income. Okay, then. Do I want to make it uh, 12 in Cyrene or 16? I think 12 would be enough. Alright. Hmm. Or I yeah. could, or I could like, try and take him off guard and take Memphis. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to just play harassment down there at the moment? I mean, you're kind of doing the same thing in North Southern Gaul already. Well, here's the thing. What do you think he'll do in Bithynia? Do you think he's going to attack Bithynia? He knows I have... Well, actually, he doesn't know that I have Sicily, so... Oh, wait. No, 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 wait. Crap. I'm in a Varicum. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Crap. Yeah. This is actually very bad. All right, you need to go to Pisa. Pisa? Oh, man. Mm, where's Pisa? Oh, I see it. <laughs> huh. Yeah, uh, you need to get up there fast. Hmm. I can also go to Epirus. Gift. Ugh. I can also go to Epirus so I can move towards Thracia and maybe even block him in Crete, Crete from Egypt if he does that. All right. Dang it. Oh, man. Oh, what the heck? And I'll send you one down to Syracuse. Do you want it? Syracuse. Can you use it? Not I mean, if you're, really. If you're blocking you Cyrene, not really. You can send it down there, and I can bring it to Carthage. <laughs> nah, I'll just send it to Tarentum, and I'll take him into Crete. Into e Greece, I mean. All right, I'm going to hit works. Utica with nine now. Oh, man, I'm so sad. All right, he is going to hit me with 9 plus he's going to hit me with 11 in Bithynia. Sure he's going to hit? He should. They're, look at this. They're both on me. True. He should hit. Oh, man, that's so sad. I was just thinking, this is beautiful, and then I remembered, oh, crap, I'm the only one in Southern Gaul. This is horrible. <laughs> uh, we don't want him expanding over there. Okay, all right. What I need to do in Southern Gaul? Hmm. Hmm. Oh man. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I am. Mm. Dang, because I really want to take advantage of the situation I'm in against Fibu, Fibo. Yeah. But I can't do that. I can defend Bithynia, and that's it. And I guess I could blockade Aquitania. Let's see, if you go to Pise, he's working on Northern Gaul right now. I have to assume that. Or rather... He probably won't go for it all this turn, because that's too much income to focus on getting it. No, wait. He couldn't. Could Well, I guess... One, two, let's three, see. four, five. No, he couldn't have. No, there, he can't. I just want to make sure you can get to Tarasia, or you can get in there to threaten him in time.
Um. Uh. Hmm. Five of Ericum, three, five. Okay. From the looks of it, he had at least two deployments elsewhere. How many did we? Did he deploy five? He deployed five to Vericum. I'm guessing he deployed two in two other locations. So that he could attack with two threes somewhere. Okay, well, if that's in Pannonia Dalmatia, then he took part of Dacia. Well, no, one's a three, so he couldn't have. Yeah. Well, he could have done it combo with one hit from Nerona and then three attacking from Mercer to get that, but... I don't know why I would really do that. Uh, if it's from like Cusanova Betica, then he could have finished part of Tarkinensis. Hmm. You mean taking Salmantica at the same time as taking Alicipio? Alicipio. Where's Alicipio? Oh, I think he already has that. He's already got that. If so he's, he's down got there. ten income then. Or actually eleven. Oh, well, no, 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 never mind, never, no, 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 ten. You're right, he might have just finished that, but I don't... He could have finished it before, so he should have finished it before. Yeah. But it, my, but he didn't expand in Northern Gaul from the looks of things. Yeah. I think that he is most likely in Dalmatia, Pannonia, or he's got split territories, like one in... Pannonia 1 down in Baetica. That's a possibility. In which case, he pr may have just took in Lusitania that one bonus. Ugh, this is bad. Alright, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place 3 in Aquitania and transfer back with my 3 to Aquitania. So I'll have 7 defending there. Okay. He's not likely to, to hit that with a large amount. Just make sure your move is first move. Uh, he's probably going to try to run into a Varicum to prevent you from hitting Dark Order him. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You blockading uh, down there? Man. Yeah, I'm blockading in okay. Cyrene. Well, I mean, what about Aquitania? I'm not sure if I should do that because here's I don't want to let him take Northern Gaul. Yeah. Mm. Let's see, can you get there in time and will things be okay if you do? I would probably get there when he finished it. He should still be using his income against me, so you should have two more turns. So you should technically have three turns to move up. So I think you'll be good if you can get to, P to Genua next turn. Barely. Yeah, so I think you'll be o we'll be okay in that regard. What he should do with his guys after uh, I blockade is he might even just try and take Narvanensis. Which would be great, coincidentally, if he went to Genua. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, so I what are you doing in Africa? Are you just gonna I'm hitting Utica with nine. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. Ugh, I hate having to give up spots in Egypt like this. Yeah. God, if that turn had just gone slightly differently, then we would be in such a better position right now. You mean the Polysium move? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I had just delayed things... That would have won the game probably right there. Yeah. Yeah, it would have. Oh, man. It would have. But we're not out of it yet. It's just closer than it should be. Yep, we just, we should have won rather easily, and then that little mm -hmm. coincidental, <laughs> me not delaying things and him delaying it more than me, uh, made yeah. things very sad. Oh, well. Alright, well, mm -hmm. I'm I'm not attacking anything. Okay. I'm committed right now. Alright, I guess I... I, I can't really attack anything. I don't have enough delay to do anything. Yeah, don't worry about it. One card piece isn't going to make that much of a difference, hopefully. Hopefully? Well, it depends. Is it a gift card piece? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. 
We'll just have to see. We've got a 50 for 50 chance. Yep. All right. Three, three, one, nine. All right, cool. Yep. Um. Why? Huh. I guess Grease is good to go for. Yeah. If need be, I can come up behind Thracia. You probably... Well, you might need to. I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it works out. But good to have the opportunity. All right. We'll see what happens when turn advances then. Indeed. And turn has advanced. And welcome back to Awesome. Let's watch the turn. Yeah. 12 into record room. So we put everything there. Okay. He knows income now. All right. Okay, I'm going to get you. Oh, yes. I got first move out. Whew. <laughs> Whew. That was very vital. Okay, well, he hasn't taken anything in Northern Gaul yet, it seems. Oh, he hit everything but one. Dang it. That okay. means the blockade's going to be small. Yeah, that's lame. It means the blockade in Egypt's going to work well. Obviously. Yeah, the blockade in Egypt will be fine. He won't break through that. Yes, he ran into me in Byzantium. That oh, is wow. perfect. Oh. Good, good ratio. And there's my crappy blockade. Ugh. <laughs> Yuck. All right, well, you're going to have to go to Genua now because he's probably yeah, going to take gonna... to uh, Massilia and Narbo, too. Yeah, he's got a stack in Lugdunum, a stack in Avaricum. He can easily get all of Narbonensis this turn and Southern Gaul. So you're going to have to go in there with a stack. I'll, I can use all my income for that. I'll hit it with 11 first. Should I hit a first move or should I? Can, or should I hit Zama first move hmm. to try to prevent him from getting away? I don't uh, think yeah, hit I'm going to hit Ganua, so I don't think that has to be first move. Hmm. I'll hit Sama first, then Ganua. Then I'm yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that's a good idea. Uh, it's a Feebo. little risky, but. Feebo's got to choose. It's like he either gets eliminated from Zama He's or in you trouble. break into Byzantium. He's in, in so much trouble. I, I, wanna, I need to go to Mesopotamia. Because he's pro he what did he do last turn? I don't think he deployed everything. Uh, I, yeah, I, yeah. He only deployed five to Byzantium, so he took Judea. Got nine income, yeah. That's four more somewhere. He took Judea, so I'm gonna have to take Mesopotamia this turn. I'm gonna do that first move. Yeah. All right, it should be from a different territory though. Wait, no, it shouldn't. <laughs> Never mind. I changed my <laughs> mind. All right, and then I guess I'm just going to deploy a few in Bithynia. I'll just have seven there. Okay. As long as if he had puts everything there just in case, you can survive the attack. Uh, If he puts nine, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll defend with seven. Okay. okay, good. Yeah. Just wanted to be safe. <laughs> if he attacks with ten, I'll still defend it. Okay. Uh. This sucks that I'm not going to be able to attack him in Byzantium, though. Or should I do that? It's very risky. Uh, very, very I risky. Know. I mean, you'll end up being surrounded over there. Otherwise, I mean, hey, when you go to Mesopotamia, you could possibly gift that to me next turn. Depending upon the situation. No, no, you're going to be in Genua. You're going to, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be able to do that. Good luck with that, bro. I'm placing my income in both locations. Yeah, to fight off both get opponents. Dirty income. Definitely. Yes. Uh, but okay. you know, you had this mm. hidden. You actually have all of Russia over here as well. <laughs> so you've actually got another fifty Definitely. income, and we're perfectly uh, and, fine. And the U.S. Yes, and the U.S. Because you didn't even know the U.S. was a country at this time, but it is. It is. Maybe maybe other people didn't, but I'm Rome. Yeah. Okay, we knew. Yeah. Somehow. We knew. We knew we have the uh, we have the the Vikings on our side. It was the United States of Atlantis. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Uh, definitely. <laughs> All okay. Right. Hmm. Uh, so God. I'm just attacking okay. with nine in Mesopotamia, and that's it. Okay. What are you that doing? Be fine. I'm. I'm just double checking. Hitting Ganua with eleven. Good. Gonna be putting a lot of pressure on Gruffalo, but he's gonna have more income than me after this. He's gonna have seventeen income. 
Yeah. Well, what you're going to do next turn is you're going to gift me Pisa, I think. If we have a gift card. Yeah, we, we do have a gift do. card. Yeah. Then you're going to gift me Pisa so we can both do that. Or maybe not. I don't know. It'll depend. <laughs> yeah, you probably will. And then I, Because I was considering whether or not you should gift me Genua, but it would actually be easier to gift me Pisa and then I take Genua next turn. If we ha- if I have to. I mean the turn after that, you know. We'll see how it works out. Yeah, indeed. Yep. Uh, I'm going to commit. All right, and I will commit. This is risky because we're both only making single attacks. Yeah, but my attack, he's not going to expect Gnua this turn. He's going to take his bonuses, get ready to take Northern Gaul, and then he's going to find out the hard way that I'm going to be hitting Gnua with 11. Yeah, hopefully. Now, unfortunately, i got to be careful about what I attack. Because he will not let me have anything easily. He's got more income than me, definitely. So i got to be careful about that. But He's going to have 5, 6... How much did he have before? He had tw- he deployed 12 last turn. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's 17. A 17 income. That's really bad. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to take, like... Jeez, you're going to have to go for Massilia. That's yeah, what you're going to have to do. That's what I was thinking too, Massilia. Or, All right. But Valentia is better. I can get a double board on Southern Gaul from there. No, it's not, because Valentia is the more likely target. He should expect to need to defend that. Massilia well, is less likely. And becomes the highest value area immediately. He, that's what he should defend, because it also borders Dora Cordero. You mean Aventicum? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. But so that's it, what he's going to defend. I would... I would think that Massilia would be the best, just because it has a back door into Lugdunum. True, but when I was defending against Ganua, I had defended Aventicum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. You can just make your best guess. Go for it. Or you could attack two- Massilia with two, and Valentia with everything else. We'll yeah, figure that out. So, yeah. Okay. Depends on where, if he moves stuff around, and yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well... We'll see what happens when turn advances. Indeedy do.